Hey, it's Mike, welcome to the shop. I'm gonna go over some of the construction techniques on how I built this bike rack. The 50 millimeter through axle is a little tricky. Um, I'll go through some of my construction techniques on how I accomplish this. If you do like this video, please uh, subscribe and hammer that like button. So this is built in three pieces. Uh, we have the bottom plate, which is four inches by about seven inches. And then we have the long piece of angle iron, which is two by two and it's eighth of an inch thick. And that is uh, about 54 inches long and that should do for most bikes. And then we have the, the, the fork mount system, which is a piece of angle iron as well, uh, two by two, but it's actually three sixteenths of an inch thick. For the 15 millimeter through axle, I just purchased some DOM, which is uh, seven eighths of outside and eighth wall. And in order to get an actual 15 millimeter um, piece is very difficult. You could either drill it out with a 15 millimeter drill bit, or what I did was I bought some 5 8 DOM, insert that in there, uh, weld that up, uh, put a plug weld in, weld that in, and then drill that out with a 19 30 seconds drill bit, which is really close to 15 millimeters. So that works really good. Drilling the holes for this uh, 7 8 uh, DOM I use for the three axle mount. What I ended up doing is just stepping it up per um, with a gradually bigger drill bits to get it nice and centered. If you can't do that, um, what you could also do is just cut some grooves down, place the DOM in, and then do a nice bead of welding on the inside. Um, to make it nice and secure. So that's another option for you to do. So when it comes to making the quick release uh, fork mount, uh, I found the simplest solution is to just buy some 5 8 DOM eighth wall and some 3 8 rod and you just shove that in there. Um, again, small little piece, don't need much. Plug weld it and then using a 13 64 drill bit, um, just drill that out and all you have to do is a little bit on each side and uh, it works out perfectly. As I said, this is modular. This one is set up for the through axle and I have this one set up for the quick release. Um, I have bolts on the bottom so you can remove them. And what I did was I just uh, bought the Allen head bolts and I chamfer it with that so it sits flush. And then the four mounting bolts and that seems to hold it pretty good. And then this little section here is cut out for the disc brake. Um, when you put the fork in, the disc brake kind of sits in there, so I made it big enough to, to accommodate different types of disc brakes and, and rotor sizes for that. This rear plate here sits on the rear low bar, and that dimension uh, is dependent on where your low bar actually is. So once you get the front done, mount it, put this on, and then figure out where this is, and just tack weld it on, and then drill two holes through it for the mounting plate, which that goes through there like that. So one last detail here is to, in order to strengthen this angle iron to this plate, all we did was took another piece of angle iron and put it on 45 degrees and just weld it, tack weld it there and tack weld it there and weld it all the way along. So that makes it quite rigid of a unit. Thanks for watching. I hope you like my brief description on how I built this. I built this for about $40 for both of them. If you had to buy in the store, it'd be a couple hundred dollars and this is way beefier than what you could find. I will link some plans to below in the description, so have a click and you can download a PDF of the plans on how I built this and all the dimensions. Again, thanks for watching.